subject EVS standard first hello students i am meera singh and today we are going to learn one interesting lesson but before that i would like to ask you few question first one what gives us energy to work yes food gives us energy to work next what do we need when we are hungry yes when we are hungry we need food so today we are going to learn about our needs for food introduction food is very essential for our body to grow strong and healthy yes student food is very much important for our body to grow strong and healthy we should therefore eat body building foods like cereals meat fish eggs okay students so we should eat all the healthy foods okay like cereals meat fish eggs so now we will see each in detail so first is milk milk is a complete food in itself yes students so milk is a complete food we should drink it every day okay students so we should drink milk every day we get cheese butter curd buttermilk and paneer from milk okay students so what all things we get from milk yes we get cheese butter curd buttermilk and paneer now next ice creams yes so we all like to eat ice cream yes ice creams are also made from milk now next we will see about cereals and pulses cereals and pulses are also very important part of our food okay students we prepare our daily meals like rice chapatis bread bhakri and dals so students cereals and pulses are also very important for our body to grow strong and healthy next is vegetables brinjal is the king of vegetables so who is the king of vegetable brinjal is the king of vegetables vegetables like tomatoes potatoes onion radish cauliflower bitter gourd etc are eaten regularly and all vegetables are very good for our health okay students so we should eat all the vegetables next leafy vegetables like spinach palak and fenugreek methi are very rich in iron so students we should eat all the leafy vegetables now next fish meat eggs some people also eat fish meat eggs as part of their food they have rich nutrition which helps in physical and mental development yes students some people are vegetarian some are non vegetarian so non vegetarian people eat fish meat eggs as part of their food okay they are very rich in nutrition so which helps in physical and mental growth now next is fruits 
Fruits are very good sources of fibers, vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. Mango is a king of fruits. Every fruit has a different taste. Okay students, so every fruit has a different taste. And who is the king of the fruits? Yes, mango is a king of the fruits. Okay, so we should eat all the fruits. Okay, why? Because it is very good sources of fibers, vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. Okay, so we should eat all the fruits. Example, bananas, chikus, papaya, pineapple, grapes, apples, orange, etc. They are very good for our health and also for our immune system. Next, vegetables like carrots, radish, cucumber can be eaten raw. Okay, students, so like carrot, radish, cucumber, they can be eaten as a raw. Okay, they are also used in salads. Now, have you understood what all things that we have to eat? Okay, so now the next is follow the guidelines mentioned below while you are eating your meals. So now, students, you have to follow some guidelines while having your meals. Okay, so first one is don't talk while eating. Okay, so you, we should not talk while eating. Next, always wash hands before and after you take meals. Okay, students, so before and after your meals, we should wash our hands. Next, eat breakfast, lunch and dinner at a fixed time. Okay, students, so we should have our breakfast, lunch and dinner at a fixed time. Next, don't eat uncovered food. It is not good for health. Okay, students, so we should not eat uncovered food. It is not good for our health. Okay, we can fall ill if we will eat uncovered food. Next, eat food slowly and in a clean place. Okay, students, we have to eat food very slowly and in a clean place. Next, don't do overeating. It adds fat to the body. Okay, students. Next, never waste food. So, students, we should never waste our food. Next, don't mess up the place or table while eating meals. Okay, students, so these are the few guidelines that you have to follow while having your meals. Okay, have you under understood? So now, what we have learned. Conclusion. Food gives us energy to work. Yes or no? Food gives us energy to work. And we, hence, we should never waste food. Or eat food in an angry mood. Okay, students. So, we should never face food. And we should never eat food in, a, in an angry mood. Okay. Next. There are a lot of people who don't get enough food to eat. Okay. So, never ever waste your food. Think about them. Next. It is always good to give some food items to the poor once or twice a year. Okay, students, have you all understood? Okay, so now I will ask you a few questions. First one, which food is a complete food? Yes, milk is a complete food. Next one, which are the vegetables that can be eaten without cooking? Yes, vegetables like carrots, radish, cucumber can be eaten without cooking. Next, what do we get from milk? 
Yes, we get cheese, butter, buttermilk and paneer from milk. Okay, very good. Now, the next is underline the odd man out from the following groups. Now, you have to underline the odd one out. Okay, so the first one is bakri, chapatis, bread, grapes. So, which one is the odd one? Yes, here bakri, chapatis, bread are the cereals and pulses. Only the grapes is the food. So, here odd one is grapes. Second one, tomato, banana, pineapple, peach. So, which one is the odd one? Yes, here is tomato is the odd one because tomato is a vegetable and the remaining banana, pineapple, peach is a fruits. Now, next, cucumber, radish, carrot, orange. Which one is the odd one? Yes, here our odd one is orange because orange is a fruit. And remaining cucumber, radish, carrot are the vegetable which can be eaten raw. Okay, so let's check the answer. Yes. Okay, very good. So have you all understood about our needs for food? Okay. Thank you students.